We have new information tonight about a serious vandalism spree in northwest Wichita. Roughly 60 mailboxes damaged, and the accused vandals, four teenagers, have been arrested. Cakes Madeline Anderson has reaction from some of the victims and explains the impact. Madeline? Well, not only will it cost thousands of dollars to replace the mailboxes, but mail delivery in the area will also have to be halted for certain houses. It's easy to see from the design to the plants below. Bradley Bowles takes pride in his mailbox. We put a little wrap around it. It's a cardinal with some flowers on it. I just thought it was nice to have. Make the neighborhood look a little bit better. That's why the Nevada Street resident says he was upset to wake up this morning and learned someone had taken what looks like a baseball bat to his work. If you look at the print on it, you can actually see the bat. From it. Wichita police say four teens targeted 60 mailboxes in the area, from Bulls Block to 11th Street to West Robinson. People might say these are kids having fun, but the problem is now mail will stop at some of these locations because they don't have a, uh, a box to put their mail in, so mail will have to be freeze. It's, it's just very time consuming. Somebody come along and destroy somebody's mailbox, it's just not right. It's how I get my mail. I mean, it's not like they hand deliver anymore. Bulls has already purchased a new mailbox so he doesn't miss a day of delivery. But he says it won't stand out, like the one now standing out for the wrong reason. I can't really find a mailbox like that again, so I have to go buy a plain one. It's hard to replace something like that. And it might not be a very big money value, but there's a lot of sentimental value in that. And you can't really replace sentimental value. Now, as for the four teens arrested, three 17-year-olds were booked for curfew violations and vandalism. One 14-year-old was just booked for curfew. Now, even though tampering with mail is a federal offense, police say they won't seek federal charges because the suspects are all juveniles. Thank you, Madeline. With so many victims with damaged mailboxes, here's some advice on what to do now from our Cake on Your Side problem solvers. If your mailbox is ever vandalized, call 911. Then you need to report it immediately to the United States Postal Service. You can do that online. We've made it easy for you. You just head to cake.com and click on this story. Or you can call 877 876 2455. And if you think any of your mail was stolen, call that same number. Uh, what should you do about a damaged mailbox? Well, it would be covered under a typical homeowner's insurance policy, but unless you have a really low deductible, it may not be worth filing an insurance claim. And until your mailbox is fixed or replaced, don't worry about your mail. The Postal Service will hang on to it and deliver it when the mailbox is ready. In the meantime, you can pick up your mail at your local post office.